Hello everyone, welcome to Titan Survey Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you our Survey Analytics dashboard that comes with our server package for Salesforce. All right, so uh, let's head over to, we're in Salesforce, let's head over to the Titan Survey um, app. It's not what we want. So Titan survey app. And let's take a look at the Titan analytics. Now I have some surveys in this environment. I run some test surveys and we have this beautiful dashboard. So what we will do in this video is just talk a little bit about what each dashboard does. And there are obviously reports behind it. Um, it's just to give you a head start on any reports you might want to do and these are included within the package all right so our first dashboard is the activity of surveys this week and let's just take a look at it and what we could do we could just view the report and from here we can learn a lot more about it what exactly it does what fields what filters etc and if we we'll open the filters you can see we're looking at all our survey takers and all time and we want to say that the created date is this week and which gives us the activity for this week we can see our surveys how many takers we got etc and we can see our status as well it's open completed open from email next one is is this month NPS now NPS is really cool but you will need to uh, configure it obviously to work with your um, survey so what the NPS looks at is a single question and that question has to be a rating or any number uh, from 1 to 10 and then we can calculate so let me show you what I've done here so in this one I've configured it to look at a specific question and if I'll head over to the filters it's really easy so I'm looking at this question and let's see this one in action I'm just gonna take this <clears throat> and bring it up so this is my question it belongs to NPS demo I have five responses it's a rating type and answer age uh, ranges from 1 to 10 and there we can calculate the NPS and we see our all of our responses here what we see in this dashboard is that we have three answers with a rating of 10 two answers with a rating of four and our average is five so this is really cool very easy to uh, filter and set up and we can see it over here also all of our uh, NPS scores survey taker status um, again very simple whatever we have how many opened in progress completed and again the whole point here go to the report filter it however um, whatever fits your needs uh, survey statuses, which surveys and what statuses we have. So everything right now, all the surveys I've got is in the sta status of share. And if we'll head to the next one, survey distribution status, just like survey status, every survey can have multiple distributions. So we see we have four surveys with 11 distributions and all of these 11 are active. If we will change one of them, so if I'll head over here and let's manage existing and let's just say this one I would like to disable and I'll head back to my report and I'll refresh the dashboard and I see that I have one disabled and 12 active. I didn't refresh it before I had more there so um, one disabled and 12 active perfect let's head over to the next one survey takers by distribution method we can see um, <clears throat> each distribution has how we are distributing it so if I'll head over to NPS demo for instance I'll look at the related I'll take a look at the distribution I'll see that my distribution type distribution method is email we can have here a bunch um, so you can see all of your distribution by its method and you can count 
let's take a look at the report. Perfect, and we're looking at the uh, survey takers by distribution method, and we can see what's the status is, how many of them are completed for each method, which is uh, really nice. And again, go ahead and filter it however, uh, however it fits your needs. Let's jump to survey responses. This will just show you all the responses per survey. And we don't see any data here since I didn't set any filter. So if I'll head over here, it's just with the default filter and that report doesn't exist in my environment. So I'm just gonna say, instead of this, we can have it equal our NPS demo. And we'll head back to our filter, apply, and let's head back to our dashboard and refresh. Okay, let's refresh our dashboard. And we have all of our responses for that survey. And you can obviously edit the header as well. It's going to the wrong server. Um, okay, next one up is abandon taker analysis. Now this is really cool. You want to know whoever started your survey, and this fits uh, um, the, uh, you can configure it to work with email survey as well, but the point here is web survey, when you have a bunch of questions and the, the user uh, clicks start or it um, answered one question and left, what will happen is that the um, the taker will stay in progress. And this is why our filter is very simple. So let's take a look at the filter and we'll say that the status equals in progress. So whatever stays within progress means to us that the user started the, the, the survey but did not complete. So there, there, this is why it's um, abandoned. And what's cool about this also that you will know what is the last question where they abandoned this, your survey and uh, that will be a really cool way to um, view your uh, survey reports. Okay, question response analysis. This will let you bring in all of your, um, all of your responses per survey and you'll be able to see what responses you got for these questions. So this is really cool. So you can see if you want to look at specific questions that are important to you from multiple surveys, and you can uh, just view all the responses you got for these questions. So here we're looking at this question over here, and we see that we have um, responses, and we, have, we can see all the responses over here as well. So this is a very important report to view if you have certain questions across surveys that you want to look at all the time. And here we're looking at three questions. And again, you can filter this. You can, uh, instead of uh, just all survey takers, you can go to specific ones. Uh, sky's the limit here. 